All right, so we got the bumper back on the car. Whoa, that scared me. The final step in this project is to drill the hole in the bumper, which kind of scary, kind of scary. I can really do a pretty good job of guessing where it's at, which is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm not really going to take any measurements. I'm just going to kind of, I'm going to shoot from the hip and hope for the best. Can't have reward without risk. My name is Zach Ellis and welcome to my journey. I don't know where I'm going or how I'm going to get there, but I'm going to be tearing shit up every step of the way. Along with a few friends, of course. Honestly, I don't know what I'm doing. I'll be building, modifying, repairing, fabricating, and racing every chance I get. <laughs> but if you enjoy this content, don't forget to smash the subscribe button, and of course, enjoy the video. guys we are back in the garage again i know i start that every video like that maybe one day we won't be back in the garage which will be good um today as you saw in the beginning of the video we're in the garage because it is snowing and what better thing to do on a snowy day than to do some fabrication today what we are doing to the srt4 my baby right here the red dragon just kidding that's not its name um is installing a go tow hook this is a OMP tow hook. I think it's like 40 bucks. Stainless steel. Seems like a quality item. It's a popular brand. It's not some Chinese thing you get on Amazon that you can't pronounce the name. Um, so I have no doubt that this has the ability to tow this car out, enable this car to be towed. You know what I mean. I know this thing's not gonna break. The caveat though is I don't know if the car structure the uh, the rigidity of the neon platform. I, I'm I'm nervous about making a setup for this to work properly. If that makes sense. Um, if you know anything about these front ends, they're it's all like sheet metal that's folded into a random shape, tack welded together. Uh, the frame rails here in the front end, they're just thin sheet metal. My crash bar has been removed. I made my own out of steel. Uh, so I need to figure out if I'm going to modify, well, I'm definitely going to modify the crash bar to accommodate this. I just don't know if I'm going to drill a hole in the bumper or if I'm going to do something different. I have to kind of figure that out. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to go ahead and start by removing the front bumper, the front splitter, um, getting everything in the front end that's in the way, getting it out of there. Then we can start looking at what we need to do to make this work. So let's get right into it. So I was able to get the front end off as you saw and for those of you who have never been to my channel You're probably wondering what is going on on my front end here. Um, I have a lot 
of things happening in a little area. So to give you a little backstory, basically, um, I built my own custom crash bar. That's what this black thing is that goes all the way across here. The reason I built this crash bar, there's like a multiple reasons. So reason number one, when I upgraded to an aftermarket intercooler, you have to delete the stock crash bar. Not the best thing. I drove the car for like a year probably with no crash bar. Finally got around to making the new one. Reason number two, I needed a location to mount this, my oil cooler. So the oil cooler, I had drilled holes up into the underside here. I tapped it, bolted it to it, and it's, she's rigid. Reason number three, I needed a location to chassis mount my splitter rod. So right here, this one, and this guy. These are for my splitter rods, and then the splitter bolts straight to the chassis of the car. And then reason number three is I needed a location to bolt my tow hook to. So this is gonna be the last, I guess the last modification to this. All right, so my plan. I'm not 100% set on what exactly I'm going to do. I'm trying to figure out the location to mount this tow hook to where there's gonna be as much strength as possible. I thought about bolting it to the outside of the frame rail here, coming straight out. The issue with that is the fog light setup is around here somewhere. So I have to confirm that it wouldn't be in the way. And then there's weird contours of the bumper, which I don't want this going through that. If I could find a flat surface on the bumper for this hole to be, it's going to be easier to drill, even though it's plastic. It's gonna be easier to plug it so it looks clean if it's not on like a radius surface. Um, I was thinking about going right above the tow hook spot or the splitter rod support. My fear with that is it's just, it's really close to the actual splitter rod and I don't want this thing to swing and break the actual carbon fiber rod. Only cause those freaking splitter rods are like a hundred and some bucks. So a little expensive. I think though with the best course of action, I looked at the bumper looking at pictures if I go over here, so just offset of the splitter rod, like three inches, that's going to put me in, so splitter rod will be right here. I was going to offset over like four or five inches, so it would be somewhere in this area. Basically, I'll be able to add all kinds of fucking gussets to this front left corner to make it as strong as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and clear up some of the metal or some of the paint off of this mock up this location. I'm probably gonna tack it in, see where it ends up on the bumper, and then we will uh, probably weld it all in final, drill the hole in the bumper, and wrap this project up. trimmed we just got to figure out exact placement of it in here so i'm gonna get the mig welder squared away and then we'll uh we'll get this thing tacked into place and then the bumper thrown on <laughs> sitting where she's supposed to be. 
okay now we got to go ahead take the tow hook off and we're gonna mock up the front bumper to see if there's actually room between the bumper and this mount, which there should be plenty of room. I'm gonna see if I can locate where the hole would be in the bumper for this thing to stick through. And if it's uh, in a good spot, we're just gonna melt this thing in and then we'll gusset it. Alright, so we got it in here. It's really hard to fucking see this. I don't even have my light. It is right there, which means the um, strut bar will be here and the tow hook's gonna come out like right here. I don't think it's a bad spot. I think I'm gonna go ahead, get the uh, bracket welded in completely, and then we will work on drilling the old hole in the front bumper, which kind of scary. A little daunting to have to do that, but can't have reward without risk. bumper back on the car whoa that scared me got the bumper back on the car it is all bolted down the final step in this project is to drill the hole in the bumper which kind of scary luckily I can see where the uh, metal piece is I can feel it in here so I can kind of I can really do a pretty good job of guessing where it's at which is exactly what I'm gonna do I'm not really going to take any measurements. I'm just going to kind of, I'm going to shoot from the hip and hope for the best. I'm going to get a small drill bit, probably going to do like a eighth inch first, figure out where I need to be, and then we'll drill the hole. So I got a rough idea. This line here is the outside of the square. This line here is the inside of it. I have to say this is out and in, but you get the idea. Which means dead center on this should put us almost dead center on the hole. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the drill out and then we'll drill this freaking hole. As you see, we got the tow hook completely installed. Um, it is not the final product, only because obviously I did not gusset anything 
I just kind of welded that tube in there and pressed on. Reason for that is I just didn't have time. Um, I wouldn't have been able to put it all in one video. So at a later date, I might go ahead and gusset that. I don't know if I'll film it or not, but I obviously I'm gonna have to gusset it before I have to actually use it. Um, but overall, I'm super happy with how it came out. The tow hook itself cost me, I think it, they're like 40 bucks, 35 bucks, 40 bucks, something like that. Um, and then it took me, I don't know, six hours or something. Granted, a lot of that was kind of brainstorming, but product came out good. Um, the hole that I drilled in the bumper, money, dude, couldn't have been any better. Um, and that's the second time I've drilled into the bumpers and the second time I has money on it. The first time was when I started making the hitch receiver on the back of the car, which I still have to finish that. I'll get to it eventually. Honestly, it's probably going to be a ways away. But either way, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you're inspired to do something to your car. And of course, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below if you have any tips, critiques, suggestions, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.